Hello everyone, welcome to the channel Rad here from Radko Tarot and this is going to be Virgo Sun, Virgo Moon and Virgo Rising weekly tarot reading for September 17 to September 23rd 2018. So that being said, uh, this is going to be a general tarot and Lenormand reading for the star sign of Virgo and if you want a, a personal reading uh, you can go to my website which link you can find down below in the description of this video and there you are going to find a, a full list of my services as well as their pricings. And as it is at the end of the summer, there is a, a summer end going sale which uh, basically adds 10 minutes on the top of the 30 minute service. So that being said, let me uh, cut the cards and we are going to go to the tarot reading first which consists a a four card spread. The first card here it will be regarding the topic of uh, you of your Virgo's um, week. Then the second card is about the uh, core of the situation. The third card regards to the challenges that you have to overcome for the duration of the week. And the last card is about the guidance that Tarot has to offer to you. <clears throat> For this particular week so let's see what you got now the first card that will be the star card obviously very positive card and the star card uh, usually symbolizes uh, ending of a turmoil ending of a stressful and despondent time ending of a, a, a severe predicament that you were facing you know and in general restart of a certain field of your life so very often this card offers the specimen or not the specimen you know but the person that the reading concerns them a uh, something that they are going to look forward to something that makes their life meaningful again so uh, that being said the uh, the star card could manifest in uh, many different ways uh, for for example it could manifest as that you Virgo may realize or may find out that you can have an unconditional love in your life for example someone really likes you it could also display a start of a very long-term project which is going to consolidate your place into your career and therefore you don't have to worry anymore should you stay in that place or not because pretty much your working place it's quite secure and it also could symbolize that you are going to realize or find out that you can have an unconditional support from many different people but what is the profound meaning of this card is that most likely this week you will be able you will have the information required and the means necessary for you to plan your life for a, a quite long time going forward into the future um, <clears throat> in a sense of you know you will be able to kind of like systemize your life so that also could manifest as a, a marriage proposal you know it could manifest again as a, a proposal for a, a long-term job etc etc so generally uh, those who are feeling uh, that their lives are quite vague and those who does not know what they have to do from now on most likely this week is going to by itself answer that kind of a question of vagueness and the uh, core of the situation here that will be the six of cups and this card speaks only a couple of things here it speaks uh, that the that the situation in general in your life will start improving in this week and slowly but steady you will start to see the happiness into the small things in life which is going to re uh, which is going to allow you to regain back the um, the sense of life in general so it's it's more matter of belief here for what I see you know having a, a clamorous expectations about what is yet to, to come believing that the best is yet to come because the whole signs that you see around you are going to suggest such a thing and the signs that you are going to see the happy signs what I'm talking about they will start from small things first and continue on for uh, continuing further into the future those small things will be will become bigger and bigger and bigger so therefore the uh, pleasure that you're going to experience from the enterprises around you is going to start escalating exponentially and this card advises you here as a core of the situation how you can maximize that particular state is uh, you know if you provoke um, kind of like um, spontaneous kindness 
and what I'm talking about here you know is being kind with strangers for example people that are uh, stopping you on the street just to ask for the direction for exa directions for example or the new co-worker at your job which is um, approaching you with a request with a request for help even if you can't help them at this very moment be kind to them etc etc and also um, facing whatever new uh, whenever whenever new uh, wherever new and uh, new um, undertaking comes uh, into your knowledge and it allows you to involve yourself in with innocence and with um, with sincerity with candor that speaks that you should not have any biased expectations regarding the outcome of that specific event but just allow yourself to live for the moment because this is what these cards promising you that the living for the moment will establish a uh, a goal that you will have to that you will have on your behalf to look forward to and then we do have the challenges uh, just to give you an example for these couple of cards uh, what I'm talking about because um, my words kind of like uh, contradict they, themselves so um, live for the moment so you can establish something to look forward to um, that could play out in that specific way let's say that you go out with a friend of yours just to have a couple of beers and at the pub or at the bar you kind of being approached by somebody now living for the moment will mean that you haven't went there for to kind of hit on specific people but to have a, a couple of beers however this is when you don't live for the moment living for the moment means to capitalize on whatever opportunity presents itself to you in this very moment out of that opportunity something that you can look forward to in the long term could emerge so um, hitting on that person that approach you to at that specific moment could offer you a, a long-term relationship this is just an example that I'm trying to explain you what my words meant and the challenges that you have to overcome we do have the temperance card which could manifest in a couple of ways here now the first um, <clears throat> and the most broad meaning of the card is that we need to have patience and we need to be tolerant to other people so uh, just because some people does uh, act in a contradictive way of ours it doesn't mean that they are doing it wrong it just means that they do have a little bit of a different um, interpreta interpretation of the situation or they do have a different understanding of their surroundings and that doesn't make them wrong about the situation maybe just their methods are a little bit different of ours therefore we should use that time you know to learn how the people enjoy their time for example or how the people in general deal with the same kind of predicaments we we have to deal with you know and we can extract a, a certain positivity out of it and the other way of manifesting a temperance card is um, having to deal with chores so this week could have much of a chores that you need to attend to before you can um, actually you know experience the positivity out of whatever it is a long term whatever it is with a, with a long term um, prosperity for you and whatever it is uh, for you to look forward so uh, it will involve the week itself uh, it involve, it's going to involve a lot of activities that does not concern you know um, the whole purpose here that gives your life a meaning again and the uh, guidance for you Virgos is the Knight of Wands and this card pretty much says only one thing enjoy your time so uh, do not try to what I'm trying to say here is do not try to find excuse for yourself 
uh, not to involve your not to involve yourself into a, a pleasant experiences even if those pleasant ex experiences does seem kind of immature for example having a, a couple of beers with a friend of yours and hitting on someone who approaches you you know because many people kind of think that as a as something immature the knight of wands it's um it's a car pointing that you should kind of rely on your knack of having fun, your knack of having a, a good life or, or having a quality time with other people and when you attend to your hobbies as well. And also when it comes to new enterprises that you are going to involve yourself in for the duration of the week, the card asks you to be not exactly patient but to be uh, unyielding um, in a sense of... Um, uh, because it doesn't work out from the first try doesn't mean that you need to um, you know um, it doesn't mean that you have to abandon the activity but rather try it in a little bit of a different angle try something different uh, from your behalf in order to see if it's going to push itself through the uh, knights of wands is associated with a person who tries brilliant strategies and maneuvers to maneuvers to uh, get what they want so you cannot expect that everything is going to happen by the book therefore you need to have a little bit more open-minded you, you need to be a little bit more open-minded and you need to be prone to kind of see things outside of the box and try it in a different way a way that you most likely haven't tried until this very moment and let's now see what the the uh, Lenormand cards has to say for you They will show uh, a event happening, which either you should look forward to or try to avoid. Now the first card points to the broom and the whip, which uh, signifies conflicts, it signifies um, wrangles. Then we do have the ship, which signifies either traveling or uh, it could signify as well, as well adventure. And then we do have the uh, the ship, which is um, money or comfort, should I say that well, way. So what we do have here uh, is either wrangling about the money regarding to a traveling. So you may negotiate a certain traveling and how, how much money you have to spend on it. Or it could be a challenging, uh, a challenging rango over the money that a certain service will cost. So it could be, if you, especially if you are having a private business, that could be a customer here trying to negotiate the price in which you will not be very agreed of. I don't think that this uh, event will have something to do with the tarot reading. That is sort something totally off. And as I said, the temperance could involve a lot of chores that you have to attend to apart from whatever it is happening here that you are going to look forward to and is going to be at the end of a certain turmoils and a certain bad um, cycle of your life or unfortunate cycle of your life this is going to be more um, material orientated here um, like you know as I said with the private business or it could be as well um, leading uh, negotiations with your family let's say about inheritance because the because the ship could also mean inheritance in um, <clears throat> or could manifest itself as inheritance in uh, in some ways so but it's going to involve itself money and how much money you have to spend this isn't about getting but it is about you know um, saving money for what it seems so uh, that being said, Virgos, this was your weekly Tarot and Lenormand reading for September 17th to September 23rd, 2018. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it and, li and I hope that it does make sense to you because um, this is a general reading for your star sign and it is not your personal reading. If you do want a personal reading, um, 
everything that you need to know is uh, my website which link you can find down below in the description of this video and there uh, you will find the full list of my services as well as their pricings. That being said, Rat signing out now. See you next time. Bye.